from the very beginning. <laughs> the most popular fan submissions. I allocate myself to six gas passings per day. <laughs> have been myths about gas emissions. Flatus. Hey, we got one. So stand by for another detour down under. Because Reddit wants to know if this is a viral video fake or flatulent fact. And Adams starting at the bottom. The last time on Mythbusters, we attempted to catch a flatus on film. It was devilishly difficult. Yeah, you got one? I think so. No. Nothing. We still hope to do this experiment with a real human flatus, which is why I'm drinking all this lovely carbonated seltzer water. But just in case that does not work. Oh, wait. No, I gotta pee. I am planning to build a machine that can also eject a flatus. That's what all this equipment is. It will soon be a machine that can fart. The basic gist of my flatus generator design is that it needs to be at body temperature. That's the temperature our home-built flatuses are. So I'm going to generate the flatus from inside a gas chamber floating in a water bath that will be kept at human body temperature. That might not be clear right now, but it will once I start to build it. Oh, That was a complete and total disaster. Adam's demo may be a while longer than expected. Oh. Meanwhile, here's a hotshot Heinemann talking tech. So the story here goes that you can use a thermal imaging camera to see a flatus. And we've ended up using these quite a bit on the show to tell whether things are hot or cold. Like some demented elf. And you can see by looking at the image of my face that the bright yellow areas are the hot ones. The darker blue ones, like my hat, are colder. So given that a uh, gas coming out of my body should probably be about the same temperature as my body, you would think that it would show up. Yep, a thermal camera measures infrared light. Just putting my hand down. Calculates temperature and renders a scaled image from the data. <laughs> Older technology does so in black and white. Modern, ultra-sensitive cameras like ours have a full range of color. But can it really pick up hot air? With no natural flatus forthcoming... <laughs> yeah. Oh, wrong end. Adam. I'm gonna build a fart maker. I'm gonna make it fancy fart maker. <laughs> Fast forwards production on his magnificent machine to produce human temperature flatus. All right, okay, here's how this works. Clearly inside, I've got an air chamber. That's where the farts are formed. Around that, I have a water bath, which I will keep to a constant human body temperature. I also have an ambient thermocouple inside the air chamber telling me what the temperature is inside there. When that gets to 98.6, I am going to let fly, literally let fly with this. Uh-huh. And we're going to see if that's visible on our thermal imaging camera. While Adam waits for his wind machine to warm to the occasion. Are we allowed to show this on television? I can't believe we are. 